Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Spin Tires. So this is the Aussie Outback map. Now for this series I just want to make this clear before we go anywhere. For this series I just basically want to get used to the game, see how the physics work, see how you know how the different things work, the different cards, the maps etc. So it's not necessarily going to be let's go and play the game properly to start with. Now this is just so that you guys can see my take on the game and all that kind of stuff. So the aim of this episode is just to see how far along this road we can go. Now it does go quite far. It kind of goes all the way around here and everything. Uh, or does it? No, it goes to here. So I'd like to get to here before it goes to there. So I'm thinking that should be an episode. Now before we go, I just want to show you something. Now you've got those lights there, right? And then if I click my other button on my steering wheel you get those ones so at night we should be okay but we will see how it goes so let's get a move on then so we'll take that off and put it in gear then we might get somewhere so we'll just go for now okay so we've got an in cab view as well so now this is like a proper like jeep wrangler so I, I'm, I'm assuming it's not very like very high speed kind of vehicle I think it's more of it's got just pure power of going up hills and things and over rocks and everything else like that. I think that's more how this Jeep is aimed rather than flat out speed along the floor, you know, on the straight instead of it going mad. Now, I took out the other Wrangler that we, um, that I, <coughs> excuse me, that I had the, on the, on another map that I was just playing around with. And, this road absolutely destroyed it even though it's a road itself it just absolutely killed it the bumps and stuff was just putting damage on top of damage on top of damage and it was a little bit like disheartening really because it's it's a cool map it's just i think i don't understand why it's you know why this road damages the vehicle so much i have absolutely no idea so yeah, I'm recording this pretty late at night, so I do apologise if my voice is, you know, sounds a bit croaky or worn out. It's just that it's now coming up for like quarter to one in the morning. And, uh, oh, it's a nice little bridge. Um, quarter to one in the morning, and I've had a pretty long day at work as well. So, you know, my voice is a bit, a bit stressed out today. But, you know, we keep the episodes coming. You know, and those to those people that do watch the videos, I thank you very much for watching my content. It's it's the reason why we do these these videos. Right, so if if we don't come across any decent far by far trails, then I think what we might have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is go off and find some because I wanna see what this thing does climbing up a wall a sand wall a dune i want to see what it does climbing up rocks does it pull out its claws and clamber its way over the rocks like a mad beast okay got a very bad lag spike here oh sorry about that guys it completely froze on my end as well so it's not just in the final rendering i might actually cut that out if i don't you know why if I do, you know why. Yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing. Right, so we've made that in five minutes. So that's not bad going, really. So this is now apparently. <coughs> excuse me. You can see this is where the fun starts. So let's get a move on and let's go. So we will just pop that back into automatic just so that we can uh, just keep an eye on things you can see the road there so this is pretty fun so now this thing better shine you know it's one of these this is what it was born to do off-roading 4 by 4 in now this is a game where I do have a couple of friends um, who have this game as well and wow that's that's a 
bit tight going around there. Um, we've got this game as well, and we're thinking of doing like a multiplayer, a multiplayer kind of um, series as well, but more to the point of the, you know, kind of like the point of the game really. But come on, there you go. Wanted to see how far we could get without the four wheel drive, but not very far. Um, you know, where we're going to have a couple of like modded vehicles like this and whatnot, and we're just going to get maps like this and just see, you know, how far we can get before, you know, we have to kind of call it quits. I mean, this is. Oi, come on, don't go over there. Where are you going, man? So we just take it steady down these bits because I don't want to go flying off the course too much. Otherwise we won't be able to find our way back again. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, just I'm still getting used to these cameras. I mean it's it's not easy by any means. Okay, so I think what we're gonna have to do for this one is I'm going to stick it into low range. I'm going to lock it in there because now we want constant power all the time. We don't want it to break off of this power. We want it to stay locked in. Are you telling me it's not going to go? Come on, find your grip. Okay, guys. Um, put the brake on. Looks like we're going to have to winch it. Uh, uh, should we do it to that one? Yeah, I think that would be the best bet. Now what I want to do is just take it up there like that. And winch at the same time. Come on. Right, so we've made it up, but like I said, I did not want to like use my uh, winch, so that was a bit disappointing. Right, so we're coming into wow! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, that is a bit mental. At least we can't complain about not knowing where we're going. Yeah, so, I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. I love this game. I, I am. I'm enjoying it. Really, really, I'm enjoying it. I mean, like I say, I'm still messing around with some of the the different mods that are available. Wow, we've got 12 damage there. You know, some of the mods that are out there, I am looking at them. You know, some of the maps and what other people are playing on and I do like them but what I'd, what I'd really like to see if if anybody knows any good maps you know especially for like 4x4 courses you know like proper maps just made with 4x4 obstacle course you know something that you could take a Toyota Land Cruiser or you could take a Jeep Wrangler you know whatever but you know, n nothing that's going to be impossible to do, It's but it's got to be a challenge at the same time. You know, so if there are any maps out like out there that are like that, and you guys know of them, let me know, please. And we might do, you know, like a, a multiplayer series and we'll have a competition kind of thing. And we'll see who can, you know, do the best. I think that would be quite interesting to do. Right, so where is this now? Right, so is that just like a random building? I think it is. So we'll carry on. Yeah, it's really weird way of shifting in this game, you know, just the way that everything like that works. It's just weird and the camera angles is a bit strange and it's not like any game any other game I mean I don't understand why you can't just have a normal view you know and not have to have something that's all over the place like this where you got to concentrate not only on your driving 
and where you're going and trying to stay on the path. Right, so we've made the, made it to the lumber point and that is the end of that. Right, so we've basically gone all the way across there and back over this way. So now what we can always do is follow that down and see where we get to. Are we going to get up here? That's the question. Looks like we've got some momentum. Oh man, did it have to stop there? Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's really not letting us get up here, guys. I'm wondering, have we been defeated? I think we have, you know. I'll try to go up this way. Doesn't look like we're going to get up there either. Come on, Jeep. We'll give it one more go. And if we can't get up, then we'll probably call it quits. Unless... Unless we are in reach of a winch, which we are. Even though I didn't want to do it like this, guys. And you know my feelings on winches. Right, so off we go once again. Okay, so this is quite far by far tough, right? Is this what you guys want to watch? Do you like watching stuff like this? I hope so. Because I like playing it. Right, so I'm assuming we've got to go along here. Oh, no way. I've just been that, guys. I've properly, properly just been that. Right, well, I suppose we've been defeated, guys. So let's just see how far we've really got. Well, we didn't get really far, did we? Well, I suppose, if you think about it, we kind of went all the way along here and all the way around there and back down to our final resting place here so what i'll do is i'll just show you the other vehicles that i've got uh yeah we'll rescue it okay so we'll shut it down for the time being put lights on so we can all see what we're doing Um, that's the high looks that we've got now. I know that will be no good. And then we've got the Wrangler, the, the another type of Wrangler. Let's see if it's got a name. Yeah, so the JYC, I think it is. And then that's just a normal Wrangler. So this one, the one that we're in, we might, this one here. Let me just put lights on that one. This one, I think we'd have a better chance with, um, you know, because of the the bigger tyres and the more grip that we've got. We've got the chance of doing different tyres with it, so I think that'd be good. But anyway, guys, I think that'll be it for now. Um, thank you very much for joining me on this episode. It's been fun as usual, and I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please head down below and leave a like. And I will see you all very soon at the same time, same place tomorrow. So take care, everybody. See you all later. Bye-bye.